Let's start with trivia today. What is not as big as Seattle's, smaller than Minneapolis, and already bigger than Cleveland's? Denver sales tax. Purchases in Denver come with an 8.81% sales tax. Not as big as Seattle's, smaller than Minneapolis, and already bigger than Cleveland. Denver could move up a spot on that list with several ballot issues seeking to increase the city sales tax, including a new proposal announced this morning. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. The people standing with Denver Mayor Mike Johnston already support a plan he has yet to publicly announce. Thank you to all the amazing friends and community leaders we have gathered here. That plan, which he announced this morning, is to ask voters to raise the city sales tax to be spent on affordable housing. So the goal is that this allows us to build or to bring on 44,000 additional units, which is what the estimate is of the total gap we have to fill over the next 10 years. The city sales tax would increase 0.5 percent, adding five cents to a $10 purchase. The mayor's office estimates that would bring in $100 million a year. Potentially a $2 a week impact on families for the ability for a teacher or a nurse or a public servant to take up to $1,000 off their monthly rental charge. That is the way you make the math of this city function for the folks that are trying to work here and live here. Denver's combined sales tax rate is 8.81%. It is not the highest in the state. Winter Park has that distinction at 11.2%. Within the metro area, Commerce City is the highest at 9.25%. Highlands Ranch residents only pay 5% sales tax. If this ends up on the ballot and voters say yes, Denver's sales tax rate would climb to 9.31%. And don't forget, Denver Health is already on the ballot with a 0.34% sales tax increase to help the hospital pay for uncompensated care. If voters approved both, Denver's sales tax would be 9.65%. At what sales tax rate would you personally stop buying goods in Denver and go to a different city to do that? Yeah, we've looked at the impact on sales tax because that's important. After pointing out that about one third of Denver sales tax is paid by non-residents visiting and working in the city, I asked again, what sales tax rate is too high for the mayor to buy goods? This is not a rate at which well, I, I believe I would or anyone else will stop buying goods. Certainly not those who stood with the mayor to show support for a proposal that first needs to get through city council before voters can see it in November. So thank you all so much. Affordable housing already has a fund. In 2016, council increased property taxes about $12 a year on a $300,000 home. Council also added a fee for developers. In 2020, voters approved a sales tax increase to assist those experiencing homelessness, which is different than affordable housing. That sales tax increase was approved by 63% of voters, and the increase was half as much as what voters may be asked in November.